The Crown says the main issue lies with the star witness, fellow Niagara Sergeant Shane Donovan, the officer who, according to court documents, acted in self-defense and shot Parker 10 times. The court says the incident occurred at a crime scene in November 2018. Sergeant Donovan was investigating while Constable Parker was securing the road closure. The two men got into a physical altercation, leading to Sergeant Donovan firing his weapon. The Crown points to the cross-examination when Donovan admitted that he continued to review documents pertaining to the shooting. These were documents Donovan had a right to review when he was also being charged in the incident, but he was not supposed to be reviewing them after charges against him were dropped. In fact, the OPP would determine that Donovan reviewed more documents than he admitted to while under oath. Be more pleased. It's the just uh, end. It's the necessary end uh, to an infected prosecution, uh, one that was uh, corrupted by the evidence of Sergeant Donovan. Uh, the Crown did the right thing. Uh, my client is relieved and feels vindicated. And as a star witness against Parker, the Crown said, quote, the tainting implications of such conduct with respect to Sergeant Donovan are obvious. Nathan Parker's defense lawyer, Joseph Markson, says Sergeant Donovan's actions should be reviewed. In court, I suggested that the matter be referred to a third-party police service to look at the issue of perjury. There are serious conduct issues that flow from what's happened in this case that necessitated uh, the staying of these proceedings uh, by the Crown. The Crown says it understands even as it asks for the charges to be stayed, there is still a public interest in prosecuting allegations of criminality by a police officer, but the Crown also suggested that discipline might come under the Police Services Act. Niagara Regional Police says it needs to conduct a full review to determine their next steps regarding the Police Service Act. The Crown also factored in the fact that Sergeant Donovan didn't sustain any serious injuries at the hands of Constable Parker and has been able to continue working for Niagara Regional Police. Lastly, delving deeper into the case could result in months-long trial, one that was originally slated as only being nine days long.